What's up everybody? I'm IGP and welcome back to Subnautica. Last episode, we did the unthinkable. We defeated the sea dragon. If you missed that episode, links in the description below. I'll have it somewhere in a card up here so you can watch that. Go watch that one, then come back and watch this as we venture into the primary containment facility. We're getting close to the end of Subnautica at its current state. Uh, I know there's still more to come, but anyway, before we go inside the beautiful palace of sorts, uh, we're gonna go check on the pro boater and make sure that the sea dragon is actually gone because I'm not trying to deal with no more zombies and I certainly am not trying to deal with my boat not working properly and then getting destroyed while I'm venturing about and gaining knowledge. So if you did miss last episode, I did actually figure out what I believe to be something you can actually do, but it might be an exploit with the Cyclops. And that is to have a specific setup of power and mods to the ship or buffs or whatever they're called that allows me to keep the ship's shield generator running 24 seven because now the shield generator doesn't just activate for a set period of time. It will activate until you deactivate it. So if I can keep power boosting to it while it's happening and we get a surplus, then basically I can have my ship sitting here with infinite defense. Now I don't know to the extent uh, of, of the shield generator. I don't know how much that protects against like, if a sea dragon were to attack it right now, like, would it be destroyed? Hey, back off. Ah, oh, this is so dangerous. I needed to get that uh, extra mod from the moon pool. I don't know what- I think it's just for energy, but I can't be certain. It might be for damage. Hey, my ship's on. Who turned my ship on? What? My ship's engines were off, buddy. Who did that? Oh, it's not. Oh, you tricked me. Anyway, okay, so we're at 48% power. I'm gonna test this again. I hope they didn't see my video and patch it. <laughs> I really hope not. Okay, so there's the shields. So I'm gonna go over here and check to make sure we got our uh, ion power cell right there. That's a freaking beauty. Okay, 948, 949, whoa! All right, so we're, we're, we're in a good state. We're in a good state. Let me go ahead and uh, fix myself up. I need some food and water. So we are full. Let me grab another med kit and we should be pretty good. Now I cannot remember if the blue key is the only one I need, I might need a different key. I know the blue key gets inside, but is there another key? There is another key. Ah, damn it. I guess I gotta go inside and see which one and then come back out and make it. As a matter of fact, since the sea dragon is gone, why don't I just move this? Well, yeah, let's just move it, dude. That's the smart thing to do. That's what smart people do, right? Oh, I should probably... See, this is what I'm talking about, about not being smart. I need to dock, at least maybe recharge my freaking prawn suit. God dang it. Okay, there we go. I didn't even know the Cyclops can go this deep. I thought the upgrade module would have gone to like 1200. I, I don't remember what it was. I think it was like 13 or 1200. Maybe I'm wrong. All right, so there's a lot of larvae over here. Really not digging it. Let me make sure I get as close to the heat as possible. So we're here. Uh, are we going up in power? If we get to 46, dude, that's nuts. Let me get this guy off. Back off, thank you. So we're at 45% health. We're going to take some damage doing this. Nope, we actually didn't. Perfect. You stay there, you gorgeous thing, you. You don't realize how beautiful you really are. All right, let me heal this guy up. I think you guys are really going to enjoy this place. If you haven't seen it in Subnautica, uh, I think you're really, really going to enjoy this place. It's, it's a magnificent thing. All right, we got our blue key. Let's put it in. Yes. Let's get in, buddy. We got stuff to do. Okay, so let's get up to this place. And this, as you can see, is a nice little ion crystal generator, which means that I could have an infinite supply of ion crystals. And when we complete the process of breaking this down, the generator up here is going to start making a new one. Infinite energy, infinite power. All right, now while it's doing that, I wanna see what key I'm gonna need to make. I'm pretty sure it's, ah, oh, it's another blue one, okay. So we can make that back in the pro boater, I think. So an ion crystal and two diamond, I definitely have that, no problem. Let's get this data terminal real quick. Emperor Project Data. Let's look at this. According to the logs, an indigenous life form referred to as the Emperor Specimen was found to produce a unique substance they referred to as Enzyme 42, which inhibited the symptoms of the infection in other indigenous organisms. The specimen was captured and contained here, in addition to the eggs it was found guarding. All right, so we got more ion stuff, which we're gonna need. I wanna make some more ion batteries as well, but let's look up here and let me turn off pings. I actually really hate seeing those. All right, so here we are. Check this out. Dissected Leviathan fetus. So this is actually the first time 
that we get to see what the specimen is that they're researching. This poor thing. It looks so sad. Superficial damage to the specimen indicates it was forcibly removed from its egg casing. The fetus appears to have been terminated for dissection immediately on removal, cryogenically preserved. However, the fetus had not fully completed gestation. Internal organ development is insufficient for enzyme production. It's actually a very strange development process on, on this in this game and on this planet. Uh, how these things grow and we'll find out more about that in a second But this is basically a lab which I've always found a weird thing to think about and this is why the idea of these precursors being able to Access I'd, I'd say other dimensions and when that's used loosely because when people say other dimensions It's almost like they're saying like multiverse or something like that And they're like kind of spliced together what I mean by that is like a fourth dimension a dimension that we as three-dimensional creatures cannot comprehend much like a 2D creature would not be able to comprehend the 3D environment that we live in. This was actually really well explained by Carl Sagan, and if I remember, I'll link in the description a video about the fourth dimension explained by Carl Sagan. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because this seems to be a lab of sorts, right? That this thing is laying on a table and being dissected. Now these these tubes that are on it, now this could be an incomplete room, but these tubes that are on it don't seem to lead anywhere, and there seems to be no tools around, nothing. Like nothing I seem that seems to be like a terminal or anything else. I don't know, I don't want to keep rambling on because, you know, I'm, I'm pretty dumb in most situations, so take that with a grain of salt. So this is the Leviathan egg casing. This is where it was lasered apart, I believe. Analysis. Time pressure to develop the bacterial vaccine may have driven the alien researchers to cut open this egg and remove the fetus for study. It is also possible that, removed from its parents in natural habitat, some vital condition for that infant to hatch naturally was not met. But that is the, the lab up there, and we'll take a look at all this stuff. Now, these are very interesting. These are all relics. They're pretty much- this is almost a museum of sorts, but these are all relics that have been collected by the precursors from other worlds, galaxies, and such, so the one I will talk about, however, is this one right here, because this one has to do with Earth. There was always talk about the precursors having uh, a relic in their main facility or their research facility that would resemble something or hint at the idea of them visiting Earth or coming in contact with humans in the past. Dated back to the 13th century Mongolian Empire, blood samples on the blade match the DNA of seven separate heads of state from the period. So anyway, so let's take a look at some of these other rooms, and then we'll go out and make the blue key, and we'll go into the main room over there. Now, some of these, I believe the four outside ones are actually teleporters that I'm going to activate this time. So I got to get some more ion crystals as well. We'll place this in. Whoa. Where'd it go? Where does this go? I wish I knew. Let me self-scan myself. What does it say? Infected? All right, let's go through this real quick. Whoa. Okay, so we are definitely somewhere. Hello? What the hell is this? What is this? Oh, you know what? We might be in the crag field. I'm not 100% certain, but we might find some items over here. Let me take a look. Oh, there's a shocker, so we must be in the koosh. Please don't come near me. All right, dude. Back up. Oh, yeah. So we're in the koosh. What? 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 All right, so maybe it wasn't the best idea to come out here. I got to get back to the main place. Ah, here we go. Okay, so this is really... Ooh, they updated it more? I haven't even seen this in a long time. So let me, let me take a look at this first. The alien pump. This machinery is pumping water to and from the attached pipe network. Outflow. Oxygen-deprived water is being flooded from the system. To the inflow, the analysis of the water composition flowing in indicates it is being drawn from different biomes between here and the surface of the planet. The water temperature is considerably lower than the volcanic environment outside the facility and oxygen rich. So obviously it's not just getting the water outside of here, it's pumping throughout the entire system. And if you guys recall, for those who don't remember, there were little pipe systems that we saw out in the Grand Reef, I believe, when we met the ghost leviathan back in that episode. That was where we saw the pipes coming out where you saw the intake and the out and the output of the water and we saw peepers swimming in and out. And if you haven't noticed, there are actually peepers in this system. Peeper behavior elsewhere on the planet suggests they are not being sucked in by accident, but rather have evolved to actively seek out the correct access points. Specimens show differing levels of bacterial symptoms. All specimens scanned are carrying the enzyme, which inhibits bacterial growth 
and helps the body repair the symptoms of the infection. Stomach cavities are all empty, which would make sense as to why, hey, we have an outbreak of a bacterium on this planet that has taken the lives of 143 billion organisms, but we still see uninfected individuals floating around. And if anyone was wondering why, this is why. All right, so that is the alien piping system. The whole network starts here and goes out and almost a, a ton of biomes. There are a lot of exit points that we didn't even actually find yet uh, out in the world. So this one is another teleporter, which I'm going to need some ion crystals for. So let's get some of those. Actually, as a matter of fact, I'm going to have to take Welcome your grappling hook out because <laughs> your grappling hook is uh, messing me up here. Wait, I can't access the upgrades? What's the reason why I can't access your upgrades, buddy? I gotta take your- I gotta take your grappling hook off. I can't even access your storage? Okay, something's definitely wrong here. Well, that's not gonna be of any help for me, so I'm just gonna have to break this apart one by one and then pick them up. There we go. Okay, so let's go check out these other teleporters. I really don't even know where they go. I have never used these before. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening with the graphics on that, but that's kind of funny. Ooh, okay. Where in the hell are we? Oh, don't do that now. We should be in the mushroom forest, I think. Yes! Okay, so this one leads out here. That's nice. Uh, I have no reason to be out here, though, I don't think. Oh, lithium, though. But that's nice. At least I can get that. All right, let's head back. Okay, so here's the next teleporter. Three out of four. Let's see where this one goes. Oh, this one goes to the Lost River. Perfect. All right, I don't even need to go out. All right, so this room is super interesting. These are where all these different eggs are. I'm what I'm assuming is them trying to find out which ones have some enzyme or immunity to the bacterium. The Emperor Egg Hatching Project data. The main containment chamber here housed a Sea Emperor Leviathan and its eggs. This parent Leviathan's health had deteriorated. Uh, its eggs appeared to be in good condition, but in some form of natural stasis. Alien structures. The data shows that within the vast specimen containment unit, an incubation system had been constructed to house the Leviathan eggs. Likely, the alien researchers had refocused their efforts to develop a vaccine on the unborn infants. The incubation system suggests they had resorted to developing artificial hatching enzymes, which would simulate the natural hatching environment. While the unborn emperor's specimens may have held some potential for the development of the vaccine, it is highly unlikely that a parent or child survived having their food supply cut off and being isolated from the rest of the ecosystem. So this is hinting at the idea that the emperor leviathan is now dead. Oh, all hopes to having a cure is dead. But yeah, that's this room. Very, very simple. And then in this room is the last teleporter. And we'll check that out real quick. I can't imagine what it's like going through that. Just having your body all stretched and stuff. I don't know how it would work. Maybe it's described in-game. Where the hell are we? Uh, this is very strange. Um, what the hell? Where am I? This is kind of weird. Oh, this might be the crag field. Um, whoa, this is awesome. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we're definitely in the crag field. Okay, that's nice. I don't like being here because it's super dark. There's a lot of sharks and I just want to go back. All right, so that is the extent of the exterior here of the antechamber. Oh, Jesus Christ. So actually, I need to head back to my Cyclops and make a blue key. I'm pretty sure I have some extra ion crystals, so I don't need to gather those right now. We're at 70%? Good God. Perfect. We are full and ready to go. Let me get some ion crystals and I think I need two diamond, right? Where are they at? There we go. Two diamond. That's right. Okay, I got enough health kits. I forgot I have to rebuild the fabricator. All right, so I just need a wiring kit, which I do have. And let's build this thing. Okay. All right, so blue artifact. Let's make that real quick. That's kind of interesting that I reverse engineered and basically all it is is just energy, compact energy and diamond. That's pretty cool. All right, y'all can- y'all need to get off. Both of yous. There we go. And what are we at? 72%. I am so happy about this, man. All right, let's get back. Let's get back. We got the blue key. We're ready to go. All right, we got our blue key. We are ready to put this in and open up this door. Translating local alien broadcast. Warning, vaccine development program terminated. Emperor egg hatching project terminated. Live specimens terminated. Evacuate immediately. So here are the steps that are ever so confusing. Like, what the hell? 
Did y'all- were y'all huge or what? Why would you need these? Alright, let's do this. You magnificent beast. Also, if you didn't know, the textures got updated, I believe? It looks way more high quality than before. But look at this. Oh boy. I, I'm so in I'm so envious, dude. It's unbelievable. Like, can you imagine seeing this for the first time? If it is your first time, I'm glad you enjoy it. So so far, this is the biggest Leviathan that a live specimen that we can actually encounter. Obviously, the skull in the Lost River would be the biggest that we've seen. Unlike other alien facilities, scans indicate this location supports a diverse and healthy ecosystem. Explanation unclear at this time. Detecting unusually passive behavioral patterns in nearby predators. Reason unknown. Environment scans indicate the water here is rich with a rare plankton-like life form which depends on the organic detritus produced by the ecosystem around it. What might you be? Are you something I can interact with? No? Okay. So this is the incubation system and I need oxygen. I forgot I'm in survival. <laughs> so luckily this thing is here. Oh, I haven't even scanned this before? Whoa. Hi, yeah, I forgot. This alien device is some form of incubator attached intravenously to the leviathan's eggs, allowing nutrients to be fed in. And these are the leviathan eggs that are still in stasis. There is a high genetic match between these organisms and the leviathan in the vicinity. They appear to be stable and healthy. So the surrounding environment is actually pretty lush, if you haven't noticed. Just watching this thing watch me. I need oxygen. So, my idea, by the way, which I'm gonna bring up now, was to build a base here. In this, because you can access over here, you'll see in a second, there's a warp gates that the precursors use to bring in stuff into the aquarium, so that way this can't escape. And you can use a Seamoth and an exosuit or a prawn suit in the warp gates. I'm not sure about the Cyclops, I think it's a little bit too big. But from this base, we can have a place where we can have two moon pools set up to dock both of them and take out whichever one I need and go out to the world. So this thing is powered right here by the ion crystal, which I'm going to activate real quick. My young want to hatch, to play outside this place. We have been here so long. The others had ways of giving passage to the outside. I asked them for this, but they could not hear. If you can hear, you can help. Now, I will tell what the others want to know. Isn't that beautiful? This is such a majestic creature. And the voiceover really adds to that. So we activated this, and we're going step by step to pretty much do what the precursors could not do for the Emperor. She definitely indicated that she wants her young to play outside of this place. And we can do that by activating this warp gate and allowing them to leave if they hatch. Uh, I do need another fuel crystal for this, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that there's going to be some... Laying Ooh. That's right. If you get close to the Emperor, it breathes. I mean, that's, that's not a shocker. I think it said the animations were updated too. I, I can't recall specifically, but I need more oxygen. I want to get up close to you. Aw, you won't let me. Aw. See, I used to think that there were ion crystals over here, but it doesn't seem like there is. I think they're down here in these cave systems. I'll go grab one. Again, this is only if my memory serves me right. So. Yeah, and also they mentioned the creatures themselves are very passive. What would normally- oh, Jesus, dude. What would normally be attacking and killing me is actually pretty passive. Hello? Ah, yes, I knew it. Yes. God, this thing is massive. You know what I would really appreciate if it had, like, sounds as it's wishing by? I'd imagine it would be making just this awful, like, pushing water- like, displacing water sound. I don't know. 
like a what would you call that now in regards to this over here this needs hatching enzymes so we're going to be able to basically artificially hatch these so that way they can complete or come out of stasis it's a very weird thing you know we we intervened or the precursors intervened by cutting open an egg but we can just introduce foreign things that simulate reality all right let's activate this thing real quick the warp gate now this one leads out to the gun you gave me what i asked for i give you what you see my young cannot be forced from their shells. They must be coaxed. This is what the others could not see. I give you this secret willingly. I hope I will not be disappointed again. And we get the blueprints for the hatching enzymes, which I believe has changed. Uh, from what I remember, I do recall all or at least most of the ingredients are in this place also if you are wondering why this thing's talking to us it does communicate to us telepathically those instances in the past where we would get visions and it would ask us questions and it would be this weird shadow thing it was the emperor the sea emperor communicating to us telepathically trying to lead us down here to help okay hatching enzymes i stalk seed oh that's out oh that's out in the uh the the craig craig field i can get that the seed crown seed, the fungal sample, the bulb. Oh, these teleporters pretty much lead to all of these. I'm pro I think the seed crown might be in here though, but that's amazing. Anyway, I am actually, and I know this is kind of in the middle of everything. I'm going to go ahead and pause it because this has been going on for a bit now. I hope you guys still enjoyed the episode. I know it's not as exciting as all the others, but we are uncovering a lot, a lot of the backstory here, a lot of exposition. So if you guys are still enjoying the series, let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe. Turn notifications on to keep up to date with all my latest videos and be notified as soon as I upload the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video. I love you all and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.